Among the most original jewels, which are almost unknown to the general public, I would like to single out the diamond tiara of the only Albanian queen, Geraldina. The wife of Zoglu the first ruled with him for only one year. But she was so beautiful that the memory of her remained in the hearts of the people of the Balkans for many years. However, the queen's tiara, as well as its owner, won the hearts of many connoisseurs of exclusive jewelry, Geraldina won the love of ordinary people. The sparkling diamond wreath, which is based on magnificent floral motifs, is adorned with a funny precious figure of a two-horned goat. The image of this mountain animal adorns a couple of Albanian tiaras of former times. The fact is that the ancient helmets of Balkan warlords were crowned with goat heads, which symbolized longevity, wisdom, stability. By the way, one of the historical helmets, golden and with large goat horns, replaced Zor the first with a crown. After all, before him, the state, which would soon fall under the influence of the Italians, simply had no kings. Consequently, there were no crowns. But back to the future consort of the king. Light skin, bottomless eyes, lovely facial features, and a luxurious headdress with precious buds, Geraldine was compared to a tender rosebud. The young Hungarian worked as an ordinary typist and sold souvenirs in the shop of the National Museum in Budapest, and would never have gotten into the circles of aristocracy if just ascended to the throne of the Albanian monarch, accidentally saw a photo of a beautiful Hungarian girl. He was just thinking that the king needs a queen. And a beautiful one at that. Zobi himself was old enough to be Geraldine's father, and he had never been known for his good looks. It's funny, but he reminds me of Salvador Dali if his mustache is a little longer. Despite this contrast between the young beauty and the old king, Geraldine always spoke of their family union warmly and fondly. She said that with her husband, they were happy. The peculiarity of their marriage was that Zogu by religion remained a sunny Muslim, and his chosen woman was considered a Catholic. Therefore, from the point of view of the Catholic Church, such a union was impossible, and the king and the new princess of Albania did not receive consent to it. Guests of honor at the wedding celebration were the Italian foreign minister and even the son-in-law of Benito Mussolini himself. When the young couple left for their honeymoon, they traveled in a Mercedes automobile. It was a present from another dictator, Adolf Hitler. The young queen adored fashionable hats, diamond brooches, pearl earrings. She dressed up heartily for her beloved husband, and six months after she became a lawful wife, she was expecting a child. Unfortunately, when their son was born, who could be the next king of Albania, Leka I, Italy gave an ultimatum to the homeland of Albanians, and the whole family had to flee abroad. Roaming around Europe and Egypt, they eventually settled in France. It was 1952. By the way, the last years of his life, Ahmet Zoga lived on the finances that earned his wife. Geraldine discovered a talent for writing, her memoirs and detective stories were very interesting to European readers. Leka was proclaimed king of Albania. The time came and the son married. Geraldine stayed close to the children. They had to live in Spain for a while and then, for many years, in South Africa. The elderly queen mother was able to return to her native land only in 2002. Until then, Albania did not give her such permission. Shortly after arriving in Tirana, the exiled queen passed away. Old age had no power over her, but her beauty and charm did not disappear.